What's up, Anfinex? This is TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com. With me at the Galaxy Nexus GSM, and I'm be showing you how to install the 100% pure official Jelly Bean 4.1.2 on your Galaxy Nexus GSM on a Windows computer. Now, if you're wondering how to do this on a Mac computer, please look like, click on, click on that link right there on how to do it for a Mac. Almost the exact same process, except a little bit of different files, but overall it's almost the same. And both processes are very easy for both Mac and Windows. So I just want to go into settings and show you that I'm actually on the official 4.1.2 right now. And these files were extracted directly from Google servers, so there's no need to worry about um, it's being uh, leaked or anything like that. So as you can see, 4.1.2, you got the baseband and kernel version as well. So you can definitely check out, uh, you saw my Android version, I'm showing you how to do it. Now please do be aware that this will unroot your phone and it will delete everything on your phone as well. So make sure you back up all your apps, data, um, music, photos, all that good stuff on your phone to your computer and just restore it back on after you uh, install the new version and after you rooted it as well if you want to. So it's going to root and delete everything on your device so be careful. So right away we're going to enter our phone into bootloader mode and then we're going to plug it, plug our phone in and um, then we'll get started. So just power off your phone for now. Now press the volume up, volume down and power button all at the same time. When you feel vibration let go of the power but keep holding at the volume up and volume down. All three. Vibration, let go, power. You'll be on this screen, just leave it alone. And now, plug in your phone via Mac USB. And now let's head down to your computer and make sure the other part is plugged into your USB port. So as you can see right here, we have Galaxy Nexus Unroot.stack uh, 4.1.2 Windows folder right here. As always, I have a link in the description below on where to download this. So just head down to the link in the description below, download the file, and continue on this video. You don't have to open the folder or anything like that. Just open up command prompt now, just search on your little start bar, and open up command prompt. And now we're going to be typing in some commands for the phone. And as you can see, my phone is still in bootloader mode, and it's still plugged in. So just keep that in mind, make sure it's plugged into your computer as well. So now we're going to type, oh, also make sure the folder is on your desktop as well. So as you can see, mine is on my desktop, I got all my other folders here. So make sure it's your desktop. Uh, if you do know what you're doing, typing in commands, then you can put in your downloads folder or any other folder. But if you're a new beginner, make sure you put it on your desktop or you can run into problems. So make sure the folder is on your desktop, not the zip file, just the folder. Okay, so we're going to type in CD desktop, then CD galaxy space nexus, nexus unroot dot stack space 4.1.2 windows enter now we're going to be entering into this folder we're going to be typing some uh fast boot uh, uh commands so fast boot space flash bootloader space bootloader and you can just press tab and it'll automatically fill in for you as you can see right there and if you think i'm going too fast or you just can't read this um this small handwriting this small typed uh lettering you can uh, look in the description below as well and I have a written step-by-step -step guide in that link as well. So keep that in mind. So I'm just going to press enter. And now it's going to be installing the new uh, stock bootloader on your Galaxy Nexus. So as you can see, it's done now. We're going to type in another command now. I'm going to uh, reboot the bootloader now. So we're going to type in fastboot, <clears throat> fastboot reboot dash bootloader. So your uh, screen will go black, bleh, black and then it'll come back on. As you can see now, it just flashed. Okay, now we're going to type in fastboot, flash radio, space radio, and you can press uh, tab again, and it will automatically uh, fill it in, so as you can see right there, oh, sorry about that guys, so as you can see right there, it automatically fills it in, so we can just do that, and press enter, and now it's going to be uh, flashing the stock radio as well, the 4.1.2 stock radio. Okay, that's complete, now we're going to reboot the bootloader once again, so fastboot, Reboot dash bootloader, enter. It's gonna reboot the bootloader once again. Once that's complete, now we're gonna do the main file that's actually gonna be installing the uh, whole system image files and everything else. Fastboot space dash w update space image tab update space image dash tab. And you're gonna press enter. Okay, it's going to be installing all the stock images for your 4.1.2 stock jelly bean for your Galaxy Nexus on a Windows computer. 
So this process will take about 5-10 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your USB cable and the speed of your computer. So please do be patient, it will get the job done, you just have to be patient. And if it does sit there for about 30 minutes, um, just unplug the USB cable, close out command prompt and try it again. That will usually fix the problem. If that still doesn't work, reset your computer and try it again and uh, try a different USB port as well. And if that still doesn't work, try a different computer if that's your last option. That's probably the fastest way. So I'll be back when this is done installing the 4.1.2 stock images. Okay, just finished um, flashing all the images. It only took about 5 minutes. And as you can see on your uh, Galaxy Nexus, it's rebooting. And I'll reboot onto the stock um, 4.1.2 latest Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Nexus GSM. So the reboot now will take a, another 5 minutes. So please be patient. And I'll be back when this is done booting up. So, as you can see, it's booting up twice, so it will boot up twice. So, um, be patient, and once this is finished booting up, you'll be in 100% stock, but you will not be unrooted yet because you still have to lock your bootloader. So, we're going to have to do one more thing after we, um, um, after this boots up, so I'll be back once it's done. Okay, my phone is finished booting up. Now, if you're planning on sending it back to the manufacturer, which is Samsung, as you can see right there, it's Samsung. If you're going to send it back to the manufacturer, then proceed with the rest of the video. If you're not going to send it back to Samsung, you're going to keep the phone, then just uh, enjoy your 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. But this is the rest of the process for the people who are going to send it back to the manufacturer on stock, so you won't, they won't find out that you have rooted it or install clock with my recovery. So we're going to enter fastboot mode once again, so unplug your phone, power off your phone. Now press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding the volume up and volume down. All three, vibration, let go of power. Here you'll be on this screen, now plug in your phone via micro USB once again. Okay, your computer should detect it still. And I can set, set that aside, and we're going to type in one more command on our uh, command prompt. So you should, this should still be open, so you can just be fine, and now we're going to type in fast boot. OEM lock. So we're gonna, this is going to lock the bootloader. So let me actually zoom in so you can see the. So we, oh, we're actually going to type in fast boot. I'm sorry. So fast boot. Fast boot. There we go. So we're going to type in fast boot OEM lock. So it's going to lock your bootloader on your Galaxy Nexus. So I just want to show you before I press enter that is unlocked. Let it focus. There you, there you go. It says, it's red and it says unlocked right there. So when I press enter, it's going to lock it. And now when you look back on the phone, it's going to be saying locked. So now it's white and it says locked. So now you can just uh, press the power button and it'll reboot your phone and it's now 100% on pure stock. Google will never find out nor Samsung will ever find out that you have rooted your phone or did anything uh, bad to your phone which rooting isn't even bad for your phone. So that is how you install 100% pure official 4.1.2 on your Galaxy Nexus GSM. Please only do try on the GSM, not the Verizon or Sprint, or you're going to run into connectivity issues with your uh, carrier. You won't be able to make calls, you won't be able to connect to the internet using data as well. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys, and give me a big old thumbs up on the video as well if you found this video helpful. Um, subscribing and rating my videos really do help me out a lot, and I really do appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next video. And if you need help with this or any other Android problem at all, any type of Android uh, phone at all, you can con contact me through Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, and email me. All links will be in the description below. And I'll try to respond within 24 hours, no guarantees, but I usually respond within 24 hours. I'll see you next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.